What is up, y'all? Welcome to Crossover Conversations. I'm your host, Elias Mace, here with the best team in the game, Elijah Ansel. What's going on, everyone? And we are both seniors here at Belpre Christian Academy. Basketball season is right around the corner, and we had the lovely idea to start a podcast. So we would just want to document this season as we play our first game this Friday against the Bloom. And that basically our rivals, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get into it. Yeah, so let's just start with the history that we have with the Bloom. We played them three times last year, two times at home, one away. We lost the away game, but we were 2-0 and out in double overtime. What are your thoughts? Like what, Both what games, and the one game was a championship game, too, a double overtime. Really, They're a really good team. They, they can stretch the floor. But I, I feel like we had, the, we had the better team last year, and I think we do this year, too. Yeah, for sure. I think they already have played some games, and I think that's probably their biggest yeah. advantage. But to be honest, you know, they didn't lose anything, so... They still literally still have the same starting five, so it's yeah. like I that's, don't think that's, yeah, that's, what the difference would be if we played them first game, yeah. you know, versus if this is their third game or fourth game, you know. Now end of season first game, that's a lot different, but yeah, for sure. but for sure, yeah. So let's think back. Um, I think one thing that comes to mind at the first home game here in the regular season was. They hit a buzzer beating. Am I thinking right? They hit a buzzer beater. It was yeah. I can't talk a buzzer beater three. Beating. You know I can't talk. It's fine. <laughs> uh, at the buzzer to send it to over. Was it the first overtime or it second was the overtime? First overtime? It was the first overtime, and we were like, we were kind of. It was it was a heck of a shot. It was a heck it of was, a shot, and they were sure. celebrating like the game was over, but. There was still some time left. It was still some time on the clock, but it sent it to overtime. So good good shot by them, um, and then. I got injured in that game as well. Tore his shoulder. Pretty much tore my rotator cuff almost. Changed the, pretty much the whole season. I, I missed three games, but it was fine. Um, but, yeah, so pretty much I uh, we got a foul. And one of their best players uh, missed two free throws. Airballed the last one, was really mad. And so that kind of they didn't ice the game but it played a big part and then buddy just goes and shoves me from the back and i land with my and i was heated at that person yeah i think i had i had i had to pull back the hold back the anger on that one oh for sure for sure and then in the championship game we just that was a wild game a fun game our one of our seniors so we had three seniors last year they graduated uh one of them jason three-point sniper was uh was injured most of the season, but you tell him what happened in that championship game. <laughs> that, that was the craziest part to me is that he only played like what two or three games, and he literally, when I say won the game for us, I'm not kidding. Like, what was it? He was fouled on a three point attempt at the end of the first, at the end, at like, the end of the, at the at, game, pretty yeah. much regular. And we're down by three, knocks down. I'm talking ice in his veins, knocks down every free throw, and was that it? That was to tie the game, right? And then, what happened after? Then that sent it to overtime. No, yeah, that was the was that the first or the second? I it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it and was not, bro. We have our, our other teammate here trying to help out, bro. That was not second overtime. It was well, not, regardless. It was. It was. It was, a wild. It, was it was kind of like full circle for right. me at that moment because it was like he did not play. What was he a hamstring? He pulled a hamstring. Yeah, he hurt his hamstring. And. Um, it was kind of – he was so happy, and I was so stoked for him too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was – it that's, was a crazy Yeah, and that's kind of one of the most – one of the things I'm nervous about the most for our upcoming game here Friday is that we they basically have the same roster, a really good roster, and ours has changed a lot. Yeah, yeah, let's get into our roster. <laughs> All right, yeah, so let's get into rosters. Now, disclaimer, we are – on campus here at BCA, and so we we have some people practicing in the gym right now. So hopefully it makes a sport like atmosphere, and hopefully it's not too annoying to you guys. So yeah, Elijah's well, gonna just sort of go through our roster. We're gonna bounce off of each other, just what we think so far. Yeah. So our roster last year, um, we had Lucas, who is as Elias had mentioned, or one of the seniors that graduated, an absolute bucket. He had the float game was on lock at all times. Um, he was one. He really came in clutch in the fourth quarter of a of our championship game. Yeah, um, but he had the the three pointer on Snyder oh, yeah. senior year oh, yeah. for sure. And uh, Jason, a three point specialist, probably one of the best three point shooters I've ever played with. 
Um, of course, he suffered from from injuries, but when we needed him, he right. really showed he, up. He and that's, showed that's, up that's, for that's, sure. that's what really matters. And then we had Isaiah, one of my best friends. I grew up with him. Um, probably one of the best rebounders, uh, you know. A really big body, so right. he's, he's going to catch. That, that, he, that glue guy kind of gets you five fouls kind uh, of guy. Oh, yeah, you need yeah, one for of those. Sure. Five fouls, two points, yeah. 12 rebounds. He's that fast at stat line. So we lost all that, and that's, that's like I said, was what I'm more ner- mo- most nervous about because the, the bloom stayed. It probably got better, and we just kind of – we didn't get – I don't think we got any worse, but it's a big change. Right, yeah. We, we definitely have some – I'd say Lucas is – Shoes to fill out of everyone. Yeah. Um. You know, no, no shade on Isaiah or or Jason yeah, sure. because Cause he Jason kinda, he was, kinda controlled the offense. Yeah. Jason was Jason was injured. You know, so we still won games without him. And I, I feel like I feel like we'll we'll be okay. It's just you know I I'm gonna have to step up this year. So let's sort of get into this year. And like we said, you know the bloom. They, we've watched some of their games. You know, they've played, I think, two games so basically far. basically the same, same And it's literally same the same starting five. They don't really have a six-man that's too scary or anything. Uh, you know, and I think the biggest thing, not really, is just mindset-wise going in. You know, we, we can't be scared in any game, but especially them, a team that we know is good and is talented. But we need to, you know, act like it's, you know, we're going against ourselves. You know, like mm-hmm. we need to have that, that practice mindset and just get those first-game jitters out quickly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so looking at us... I feel like the the starting five was established in practice today. Yes. Um, yeah. Go into that. We got Curtis Lemon, about what six six. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And you know he's like, he'll be the center. We got me at the four. Um, I would say Donovan at the three. Donovan Vass. He's probably the best pound for pound rebounder I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. He'll box out anybody. Agreed. He's not that tall, but he's still gonna box the crap out of anybody. Um, Bison at shooting guard, he'll shoot it, and whether or not he'll make it or not. But he's gonna shoot, shoot, he, he's gonna he shoot. shoot a volume shooter for sure. And then we got the best passing guard in the league, Elias Mace. <laughs> okay, okay, stop. So I feel like I feel like we're a really good team. It's just putting the pieces together from from last year. Yes, for sure. I think we have. I think we have all the the pieces this year. I, I thinking about it, I don't. I feel like we were deeper last year, but thinking about it now, I mean, you know. This year, I think we're going to have more quality minutes off the bench. Um, yeah, I think I agree this that. isn't Coach's son, Ryan Owens, is, I think, probably the best three-point shooter on the team. Uh, I made the difference. I think it's... I think it's Elias, actually. I, I, think, it's I you. think this man is on something. He and again, <laughs> I'll take that confidence because, you know, little back. He's put in the work. He's put in the I've work. Been, I've shot. You know, growing up, two hands, right, like most kids, yeah, and then everybody. sort of transitioned. My like kind of moved it left. That was a big mistake, and so once the injury, I couldn't shoot, and so I started sort of started experimenting, and so we're <laughs> back to right, and it's going in. That's all I'll say. Yeah. So just That's shoot. All that it's is what it is. Senior year, like I'm not going to change my shot for yeah. like the tenth time in my career. <laughs> so, but yeah. So I think, like I said, I think we have all the pieces coming off the bench. We have Ryan, great shooter. Uh, that I mean, he's he's going to shoot. He's He's many Jason Delay, if you ask me. Their yeah. games are very similar, yep. and you need a guy like that that can just, you know, literally the eat bench, dinner in the corner it, and then just awesome. snipe, you know. Uh, and then all, and then who we have Luke. Um, He'll knock down shots. Yeah, too. Luke is is unafraid to shoot. Yeah. Uh, he, well, is but he, he a needs junior, a call. He needs. Or is he a? He's a junior. He's a junior. I think, yeah, I think he he is definitely gonna, you know, play a way bigger role next year, yeah. you because know, we have, you know, six. I think six seniors. Five or six seniors on this team, so yeah. you know we want to go out. With we're the working, we're sure. working on confidence with him. He's he looks to pass right. the ball right. a little too much, but mm-hmm. agreed. He'll go. And then we have the, the doofus that was in here earlier, <laughs> Caleb Wan Street. So the younger Wan Street. There was and three Wan Street boys that played here at BCS. So they're yeah. all they're all beasts. <laughs> they're all they're beasts. beasts. In um, in multiple ways, they're huge. Beast on the court. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go. You, go we gotta. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta start it off with the oldest brother who played for played for BCA for like eight years. I'd say. I'd say what six three when he played probably mm-hmm. like two sixty two fifty somewhere oh, right. around there. Yeah, monster. He's a monster. Paint beast. He showed up in the championship game in twenty twenty one. Yes. His final quarter, he had like all of the points. Um, and was knocking down free throws, which is a rarity for anyone. Yeah, street. anyone should except for the youngest <laughs> except for Caleb, one. Yeah, the young blood is out here. And then uh, we always we already kind of talked about Isaiah, what he does, and then Caleb, 
Shout out if he's listening to this. Shout out to Caleb. He's been putting in the work. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to him because he's been putting in the work. He's he's kind of got a jump shot now, a little midi. Um, he's been he's been working hard. He's big. He's strong. Um, anybody his age, he's he's bullying anybody his in his age yes. for sure, and people that are older than him too. So that's kind of the story on the Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've known them. Like I said, pretty much growing up with them or so we got some great connections some great group of brothers this year that we're ready to go and win so yeah i'm trying to think of anyone else we have dalton who i feel like is coach calls him head more yeah bro but he is the super fast super he's a problem is what i would yes. say Especially point guard the defensive end yeah defensive end for sure he's if he learns to control his zero to 60 so to speak i think he he's he's got a really bright future this season oh, yeah. and onwards so oh, yeah. i see a junior as well he's a junior yeah. so we have some good guys you know waiting in the wings next year kind of and i think they're going to play great minutes for us we're going to need him this year mm-hmm. so yeah let's let's get into sort of the matchups that we see for ourselves in the bloom in this game friday <laughs> yeah so let's sort of start with our tendencies like Sort of dissect, you know, what do we want to do as BCA Patriots? I feel like running the floor is a big thing. Um, getting the ball down the floor, beating them in transition. Because uh, it's kind of like the slower you go down the floor, the more time you're giving your opponents to set up. And that's For sure. something that we don't want to do against this team. Because they're a very good defensive team. I feel like, I don't know, what would you say the game plan would be? I mean, I think, yeah, I think run run against anyone that have that be our, I mean, honestly. That's kind of what we do. You know, if, if we get a rebound, we're going one to five, can take the ball. <laughs> but buddy, Caleb, chill out, buddy. Um, so, yeah, I think we want to run. We want to get people tired, especially a team like this that does not have. Does not have a bench. They really don't have a bench, you know. Um, we can get them to foul trouble, too. That's another thing. Uh, strong to the rim, right? We want to go at the rim, drive and kick rebound i mean literally i'm just gonna shoot if i shoot i mean we got two six four plus guy i mean we're bigger stronger and faster than anyone and we need to use it to our advantage really that just against everyone we play and that will be no different on friday and so yeah i think we want to get the ball we want to go look for secondary break set up motion offense four out three out five out whatever works and then yeah i think defensively wise we want to Play. We, we have a really good 3-2 zone that we got insanely good last year. Obviously lost some pieces, but we're, we're getting it back, you know. And then we're playing way more man so far this year. And what do you think about that? Which I, I, I'm in love with. I it. prefer to play man, especially against a team like Bloom. Right. Um, their main scorer is, is their center, who just kind of – basically their offensive game plan is for their guards to penetrate – and then dump it over to right. the center who switches sides on the back door. And that's basically how yeah. I feel like offensively for us, a will score. It's just a matter of getting stops on defense. Right, I think, yeah, I, th- I totally agree with that. I think their main offense is just they have two guards that like to drive and, and hit the run or hit the flotation device. And I think some drive and kick, some drive and kick for sure. They really only have one, one main three-point threat that's a catch and shoot guy the other ones will shoot if they're wide open but yeah, for sure. it, it's watching their other game it didn't seem like you know once they're up the two and what i saw from film once they were up you know 20 they were they were more confident were taking quote unquote bad shots for their sort of style uh and they were going in is what i mean so they can shoot but um but yeah so yeah i think i think style wise what they want to do is they they slow they're slow they want to they want to set things up you know they don't really like to you know push it in transition very much and and they what do they run do they want a one three one i think yeah. um which works very well at, their, at yeah. their gym i will say but our gym is way bigger and and yeah i mean we've, we've already talked about their gym yeah. a little bit yeah um but yeah so i think i think we match up well with them uh and, but what are your thoughts on Coach today saying that he wanted us to pressure the ball because they like, you know, to dribble it slow. Like, they like to roll the ball. Sometimes they like to, you know, slow things down. And for me, trying to speed them up, yeah, I mean, they're, they're still good if you speed them yeah, up. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, too, because it's like if you speed them up, like, then you got the center Sutton who's going to cut back door and you got to watch for that. And then so I feel like, honestly, the slow game, 
might be better for on defense on for us defense. for sure because we want to yeah, run exactly we're not, running the crap out of yeah. them on offense not that That's we can't given. not that we can't run both ways and speed yeah. them up on defense too yeah. but I think uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of both we're just that. we're just gonna have to see what works you yeah. know we're gonna have to stick to our offense I I feel. I feel more confident in, in our, our offense, offense a little than bit the, than, the defense, than our defense, yeah. which normally it's the opposite, but I'm not Just against this team is... Right, because, I mean, I love defense. I pride myself on my defense. Probably... F- the best perimeter defender in the world. I mean, I will say that is true of, of all the <laughs> compliments you've showered me with. But um, I will say, yeah, I think defense, you can play defense in any court, you know. That's yeah. the... Def- there's no off nights on defense, right? Exactly. So I think... I think if we stick to our defense, we're going to get that figured out. And, and I think we tr- I trust our offense. I mean, you're going to score like 20 a game. Easy. 20, 20. 20, 20 a year. Maybe 30, 20 a year. I mean. But, yeah, we're, we're team basketball. We're not going for stats or anything. So, I mean, man's dropped 48 also. Side note. But, um, but yeah, I think, I think we're just going to have to take the game. As it, isn't that a saying? Take the game as it comes to you kind of thing. We're, we're, don't do too much. And... You know, we know what we can do, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I 100% agree with that. It's just taking it one day at a time, preparing yourself, getting ready for it, you know, prioritizing, you know, sleeping and eating and things like that, right. and just being able to yeah, be confident be in your ability to step out on the court and perform. Right. Right. And, and, that goes, it, and leaving it all on the floor. Right. It goes, you know, anywhere in life, for sure. You want to, if you're prepared and you give it your best and you, you come up short then you can't complain you know you just go back to the, yep. to the drawing board for sure so yeah I think I feel like that was we, we know we know what to expect from them and I, I'd say that's probably the number one thing that we have going for us because they I mean they, they haven't really they changed they really they haven't changed and we've changed you yeah. know not and not for the, the bad you know also yeah. either you know yeah I, I just I think we're gonna learn a lot and I, I do not that if we lose this game like it's only up from there, right? I think I think mm-hmm. I feel confident that we have the team that we, we can go we can go far, but we got to earn it. You know, we mm-hmm. got. I feel like last year a little bit we had some aspirations, and we went sixteen and three, and it was an amazing season. Had a bunch of injuries that I think could have would have made that the season get us one more win. Um, oh yeah. But uh, you know, I feel like we we got to earn it this year and act like it's just stack wins. Yeah, I feel like. This year, we got to kind of get out there and put the respect on our names just right. because of the fact that we lost so many pieces last year that maybe their team's looking at us like, oh, they're not as good this season or, you mm-hmm. know, just things like that. So we just got to go out there and yeah, just ball out, have fun. All. Give it all. Just, I mean, it, it, as soon as, you know, we're scared or as soon as we hesitate, you know, it's over. That's so we got to, we got to just go in with that confidence to know that, you know, they think the same thing as us. Mm-hmm. You know, they're scared of you dunking on them. Yeah. They're scared of Bryson hitting, you know, six threes on, in transition. Or yeah. They're afraid of me, you know, hitting a Jason Williams elbow pass to you for a <laughs> slam dunk. Like, come on now. Like, we have the pieces that are, that are scary for sure. Um, and we just got to play our game. I think if we yeah. play our game, and not that we, I feel like we don't know our game 100 percent yet, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, you gotta it's take it as test. it comes. Right, it's a great test, for sure. Yep. All right, guys, I think we're wrapping up now. So first podcast in the book. Hope you guys enjoy. If if anyone's listening again, we're doing this for fun, just to document this season. I'll give a shout out to my dad's YouTube channel if any of y'all wanna tune into this season. It's just like Kevin Mace on YouTube, I believe. First game again Friday. Um, Elijah can go ahead and give his shameless plug for his YouTube channel here. Um, I, I post, uh, you know, kind of our highlights and funny stuff, goofy stuff on my YouTube channel. It's more than a game reel. Just go check it out. Go hit that sub button. Um, just buckle up for the ride. You know, we're here to have fun. We're here to glorify the Lord and what we do. Um, right, play for play for him. Yes, sir. Yeah. So thank you all for listening, uh, and hopefully, if you liked it, we'll see you. Oh, the next podcast is out. Peace out. Peace out.